Today we are going to be um, creating a uh, sample package for the mod installer for a simple mission. Uh, today we're going to use the yesterday's enterprise mission that was recently released, Legacy Files, by Mark Marky and CC. Uh, basically, what we will do, just extract it as uh, mod, and you will see down here is his installation instructions, edit the XML, put this line in, edit label map, put this line in, um, or this line in, rather, below that line. And what we are going to do is make that all automatic. So let's go back here. This is the mod with all the files, required files for it. Um, we will go into the mod installer and just that execute it. You can execute it from wherever. Go into the help menu, go into settings creation menu. And we're just going to pick the default legacy because we're not really going to be using that. We can close the extra windows. Now, what we're going to do is create the uh, entries here. This is the label map entry. These other entries are the um, mission menu. So the first one is this entry, or this entry rather. So you see right there's our label map entry. Now we have, here's our map file. Enter that. Here's our date. Here's our image. Number of ships is zero. Uh, hero is the Enterprise D. We have zero free CPS. And all honestly, you don't need these two because they're zeros. They're by default zero. Um, but it's in there. So there's our entries right here. Yesterday's Enterprise. Uh, the file name, the date, the image, number of ships, the hero, and the free command points. So we will save that file. And then that's really all we need because... Mark Marky when he creates his he uses objectives like this which are not used in the main objectives file. So he doesn't need to link anything to the main objectives file which is what this objective settings is for. This will look up your objectives in the main objectives file, the ones that are referenced which are these are the actual entries in this file and then these are our looked up entries but uh, since he doesn't enter his objectives that way we don't need that so we'll just go back to packaging and we will browse to where we extracted the mod to right there you'll see these are the files found there the readme file the campaign legacy missions and everything and you will see there is a new mission setting file file which is the one we created uh, when we saved this so now we just need to give it a name and since he called it this not quite sure why we'll call it that too so we just put in a file name Hit step one, wait for step one to complete, and we'll hit step two. Step two is created, 
We'll go back to the folder and you will see there's our installer. This is what you redistribute rather than the zip file. Or you can zip it again. But the mod installer. Now we will uh, test run it. Here we go. Here's a readme. You'll notice that is the readme that's here. Which it automatically opens on startup. And then where are we going to install this one? Well, let's install it to the default Star Trek Legacy folder. Okay. Install 2. This is actually a stock install, so it has no additional missions. Um, if you want to install it somewhere it does have them, just go there. Here's Aftermath 2.0 has to go through find the mission menus and then you just go through and pick what menu you want to put it on but we're going to put it in here and once it's selected just hit install mod and it's telling me it's got to enable all missions here ship load save free camera and additional missions because it's a stock install is fine. And now you'll see if we go to reinstall it, we now have the XML name and we have a pre-existing mission listed which is called Yesterday's Enterprise.